Hi, Wakato. Fellow Minecraft enthusiasts, welcome back to my channel. And today I will be exploring the new API Neoforge, uh, which is similar to Forge but with the same developers apart from one guy. And this will be a new series where every weekend I'll be creating an episode and, and or gradually building a basic mod with like core features like items and blocks and all the basics. So to begin with, head over to neofor github.com slash neoforge slash mdk the link will be in the description in the youtube video and you just want to head over and just click code and download the zip your zip you're gonna go ahead and open it double click it uh, we, and you want to let it expand depending on what os version you're using so once it's expanded you want to go ahead and use your uh, open up your id so i'll be using intellij id you, you can use your doesn't matter which IDs you use or will serve the same uh, functionality you want to get and then go over to your download section MDK and you just ahead and open the project and you want to let that project load and then once you open your project everything's ready to go all right once you've done that you'll have your basic gradle with all, uh, all the files that you'll need for the introduction so the first thing we want to do is just explore the core concepts so if you head over to resources mods.tml so this contains like all the core stuff for your mod to run as in like all the man all the details such as your mod id the mod version and uh, stuff like that so the first thing you want to do is just get rid of the comments that you don't need just to clear up everything so uh, if you want you can keep them but we can just get rid of them get rid of all these comments dun, 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 dun. these are all self-explanatory you might just keep these i'll just keep these for now you can get rid of all this all right so that's the mod description all right so f okay so let's just begin with the mod id what the mod id is like a unique uh, name for your mod which differentiates from other mods so for example your mod is called tutorial mod you'll have just like a mod id tutorial mods all in lowercase just to make to differentiate from like other mods such as mods that uh, have their own item uh, files and etc which we'll explore later on so in this mod our mod id will just be example mod the version uh, example mod just get rid of this uh, uh, example mod the version is not really that uh, important you can give the version name the version whatever you want this display name is the name of your mod so uh, actually yeah, these can be just set in in the in the gradle.property file so if we just go back to this so we can set our mod id as example mod the mod name we'll just call it tutorial mod and the license license we don't really have to worry about but i'm just going to say mit so people can use this code our version would be 1.0.0 i'm going to make it snapshot because it's just very basic so we get the how the group id works say for example you have a github repo so for example your repo is io dot git basically like for example let's go to this repository the the thing will be dot com dot neoforge.mdk so uh, usually you use io and sub.com for github so you do io dot github dot your username so mine is real use of ismail dot the repository name or the project name i'm just going to call it tutorial mod the authors will be the person who made the mod like you and anyone else so i'm just going to say my 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 name here and the mod description self-explanatory i'm just going to state it is this is a tutorial mod this pack version it changes every micro release so for example say next micro will be 19 20 etc don't really worry about that this is a neoforge version so if you want to get the latest neoforge version you can just head over to neoforge.net and you can you can click here to get a version list from their website say for example doing 1.20.2 the latest version is 20.2.86 as it uh, and it's already been set for this so the minecraft version you update every time is a new version so that's about it for the gradles of property and everything we need to manage so if you go to the build.gradle file we can see that mine minecraft works up minecraft java version 17 this is not controlled by the people making the api but like the people who make minecraft so mojang 
this is used when running data so generating json files and everything else so data generation which i'll explore later on this is where you set your dependencies so example any libraries you want to use like the neoforge or just enough of everything where i will explore that later episodes and this is all info about your mod and everything about it so just rerun that if it doesn't work you may have an issue with this all right so that's fine everything here should be fine all right so we can close this off now and now we want to actually start like the basics of the code so just just go ahead and delete these files close that and you want to create a new class called usually the new class is just called whatever your mods name is so for our mod it'll be just tutorial mod so t tutorial excuse my spelling not the best once you have tutorial mod you want to you want to go ahead and enter that class and in that class you're going to have all like the stuff required like you want to set the mod id in your class which you'll refer every time make uh, you're making something uh, involving your mod uh, mod id like making uh, block registers item registers for example so your mod id usually you have an annotation called mod and in here you'll have your mod id so let's just reset ours in our gradle.properties file here uh called to i mean exam actually you just change that tutorial to actually make more sense that's our mod id tutorial mod and in here we're gonna have tutorial mod or and also you want to go ahead and change your uh path after uh, our so let's just just run that again and in here once you've made that you're gonna create instantly uh, the class so you're going to do public tutorial mod so what something that uh, neoforge allows you to do is instead of having to like actually state what the where you're getting the event bus from we're just going to do i event bus here just to make it easier because then ne neoforge recognizes this and it just uh, does it for you automatically and in here you'll for example you, if you're registering your block your block file you do like some like block in it bus dot register and then but we'll explore that once we get started on that additionally you can have like uh li event listeners which listen to certain minecraft events like for example uh if you hit an entity minecraft records that like as an event and you can listen for that event and cause a certain action to happen in that event so so if you're for so let's just start with the basics so I'm going to add uh, an event, a context which gets called when Minecraft starts. So we're just going to run FML, uh, just FML Java modding loading context or get dot get event bus dot. We're going to add a listener here and we're going to do FML. This is the event we're going to listen up to. So set up dot event dot class. And then we're going to do some long, I'm going to use this here. So we're gonna do this one second, and in here we're gonna event once no, uh, this we're gonna listen to it when it, it gets triggered. So we're gonna do here and listen here one second. Yep, and in here we're gonna listen for the the modding the display name of the mod, so our mod name, the version of our mod, and we're gonna just print out as a, a logger. So we're gonna use logging, which is recommended to use when you have having like. M any app any like proper code rather than just java standard system dot out dot print in because it doesn't have the correct formatting and you can't really tell if it's an error or you're listening for an info or you're debugging so to set up our logger we want to use uh we're going to use our own logger instead of um uh, a neoforge's logger so we're going to call logger and we're going to use this uh the uh, log back i'm going to do Logger equals we're gonna do logger factory and in here we're gonna do get logger and the tutorial and our class. Now right, once we've done that, we want to do is get mod list. This is like info about mods and you wanna do get and you wanna get our mod ID. So that's why you wanna get the mod ID. One second uh, mod oh yeah we haven't one second we haven't set up the mod ID. We've done it here, we also have to create this uh, a static method which you refer to in all your codes public static final string mod id so that's our mod i don't so just fix that mod id and just get this put it here 
uh, tutorial mod mod ID, and then you want to do mod ID here, so that will get your mod. And once or, and if it's present, you want to if present, so using optionals here, you want to see that your the mod info that's your mod info and plus. You can also add the version of your mod. So, uh, uh, one second. Hello from let's just say loaded, and these are just to specify that you're gonna put a, a parameter there, and uh, using version, version, and then basically you're gonna have your mod name and you're gonna have the mod version. Then once you want, uh, you wanna close the off and put semicolon there. And that basically should allow you to run your mod. So that's the basic, the basics of running your mod. And uh, just before we finish with the basics, you want to obviously change your package names. So I was, or I called mine was dot tutorial mod t u t o r a l m o d refactor. Just delete that. And now you have your basic mod our mod and add it change it to the correct path we can now run our mod to see if everything works obviously when we run our mod we have and run the game we won't see anything change in terms of our mod like the crave crave menu or anything like that because we haven't implemented anything like that at the moment uh, in the future episodes hopefully we'll implement the ability to add items blocks and the obvi and the creative menu which is like the main thing so we can access our stuff so in order to run your game you want to head over to your uh, gradle section and hit run client and it, 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 it shouldn't take that long and go to the mod section and you can see that your mods loaded which is fantastic you can see you have the mod id version of the mod and the name of the mod that you set in your in your graders or property files so and if you run the game everything will be normal so that's it for this tutorial hope you've learned something have a great day peace out see you next week and assalamu alaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh